Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsasi, and welcome back to another day in Minecraft without mining. Uh, I think we have established that part quite well so far. Uh, for example, with this uh, blast chamber machine where we blow up blocks that we would not be able to obtain any other way. And currently we only have dirt or a parcel for dirt hooked up to this machine. But of course there are a lot more blocks that uh, we could feed into this one here. And uh, today we will tackle one such block, the basalt. And normally the basalt generator is quite easy, uh, especially if you place a haste beacon uh, on the side and you just mine it. But if you cannot mine it, then it gets a bit more complicated. And I think uh, right at this edge here, we will change the, the, the piston feed tape a bit so that here we can actually combine two block streams either coming from from the dirt farm or from something else and then basically we can have one farm running producing items that are pushed in here and are exploded so i think i will set up something uh, here so we can have two input one output and then go with the new line out in that direction so we can add more farms here on the side and uh, yeah once we have uh, the uh, the input sorted then we will see about the uh, actual farm with a few kings, we have managed to have block stream redirection down there. Uh, I have, uh, actually, I did not need to do anything to that station there because it could handle a block stream coming from below or above. So the only thing I had to add here was this station up here, which pushes the block stream down and the thing that's uh, important is that we need a certain signal strength coming out of here so the signal if a block sits there goes through the block powers this one and then basically put uh, powers the piston there um, or powers this piston up here uh, which updates this piston down there which is actually already powered pushes the block down then here on this side here we have another merger for two block streams coming in from that side and then here we have another one where we can have a block stream coming from this side and going into this merger and this is actually where we will build up our um, our farm for basalt and i think i will start with the with the basic uh, farm and then put in the stuff for the no mining aspect uh, later on how's that when collecting the materials for the uh, farm we already hit an issue because we need blue eyes which we can craft from packed eyes which can be uh, crafted from normal eyes and as we cannot mine the eyes uh, the only way to get it is through trading with our special eyes uh, uh masons that uh, can give us a bit of ice for uh, nine snowballs or with uh, with uh, trading uh, with uh, with a watering trader 
So let's make a bit of blue eyes here. And then we also only have soul sand from our bartering, but we actually need soul soil. And there is actually a way uh, to get that um, if you if you craft uh, uh, the uh, campfires and then place them down. And break them without uh, without uh, silk stone, silk touch. Then we get soul soil out of it, and that's because campfires can be crafted with soul sand or soul soil, but when broken they will always um, return soul soil. So that's the ingredient list uh, that we need here, um, aside from some lava and probably some um, building blocks. What shall we take? We have a bit of uh, concrete to spare. Yeah, I think we can do a bit of blue concrete there. So let me quickly build up this first part and uh, then we will see how we add the second part for the harvesting on the side. The way basalt generators work is pretty simple. We have soil soil at the top, then one free space where the basalt generates, and then blue ice on top with lava source on the side that flows into that, uh, that free space and then turns into uh, basalt. And what we now have to do is push this out and uh, up and uh, then we can move it into that block stream and to do that I have come up with a contraption of my own that basically allows continuous uh, uh, running of the thing here and I think we have seen something similar in the uh, uh, in the uh, world where we uh, did some testing with uh, with tunnel bores, so uh, even if we did not build a tunnel bore, uh, there were some uh, interesting things that we learned from that one that we can apply here as well. All done. And the first part is done by this piston combo. First, this piston pulls out the block and then with a bit of delay down here uh, and rerouting of the redstone signal with the target blocks, uh, we push everything up so it's next to the uh, to the ice blocks there and once we have pushed two blocks up then we basically are on the level of this contraption up, up here uh, which is the actual thing that we have seen in the other world and that basically pushes all the blocks over to here and into this block stream. And what we have going here, here we get the signal up and uh, there we also have to be uh, considerate with the timing because we only want to fire these pistons once the blocks are pushed up. Uh, and we have to ensure that 
extended pistons do not prevent uh, other piston movements or block movements. So the neat thing here is that when the signal runs through here, it goes back down to here and this block can actually be lifted with this lever and then basically we get the signal for the next round. So if I go down here, this basically is to enable the loop and then we start the whole thing once and there we can see maybe here from top to see it better yeah we already have a block stream going that way and soon that will find its way into the block table where eventually it will be uh, exploded which reminds me I probably have to set a filter down there in the storage system before we uh, before we uh, do that for the first time. And just to turn it off this lever down then the signal is no longer propagated through here. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun uh, designing this uh, contraption here. Um, and we will see where this will lead us next time. I'm currently in the process of coming up with uh, some cool building designs for, for various things that we have around here. But I'm not sure yet if that's already ready for the next episode or uh, if we will do something else next time. So hope to see you then. Goodbye.